bunnies are adorable. Why not draw one for Easter? Uh, today, I'll show you how to draw a cartoon Easter bunny and how to finish it off as an art piece using wax resist techniques with wax crayon and paint. Don't worry, this is an easy to do art project for kids. Let's get artastic. Today we're going to be cartooning an Easter bunny, of course, for Easter. We're going to start off with our pencils and we're going to lightly sketch our Easter bunny before we go over it with black marker. We first begin with at the top with both our head and the ears. I sketch very loosely um, in order to get a perfect mark. Now I'm going to add some hair on the top of the head and an inner ear on either side of the ear with some hair. For the eyes, we're going to draw a circle. Starting partway up that circle, we're going to start the next circle and I draw in our pupils and he's a busy rabbit so we need to add some expressive lines because he's super like worried and anxious to make sure that all the eggs go out on Easter to do the nose, we start off with a straight line. We curve in on either side, just a little bit. Roll down to a point and add a little center line up the middle or down the middle. And I just add a little bit of a thicker line on the sides for his nostrils. Now for the mouth, I'm going to start down and curve up just a little. Add some zigzag lines that are on an extreme slant for some hairy cheeks. At the bottom, we are going to do teeth before we do the cheeks because I want to tuck the cheeks in behind those teeth. So I'm going to make them nice and wide because cartoons are exaggerated. I'm going to go up at the same point as where those cheeks are coming to a Y shape or upside, yeah, I guess it's an upside down Y or upside down V. And I'll, I'll echo that in that tooth. Now it is a uh, double set, but that's not how I draw it. So draw your sides of your head with some zigzag lines and then just simply Draw two C shapes for your cheeks. Now, this looks great here, but what's more important is that we take our fine liner, either either brand of your either of your favorite brands is fine. Um, I always use a permanent marker because it is waterproof, and I love to use a wax resist uh, technique in most of my drawings. So I rely heavily on permanent markers. And I'm going to select my Sharpie for this drawing. At this time, you can totally outline all the pencil lines of your Easter Bunny. In your background, you are going to draw some Easter eggs, of course, so draw your oval type shapes in the background, draw three to five eggs, whatever makes you happy. Um, they can be around the bunny, or they can just be wherever you feel like.
Next, you're going to simply add line, shape, and pattern on your eggs. Next, we're going to color in our rabbit with wax crayons. My last step was to um, color the teeth white. Now this is important for creating a barrier um, that the paint won't penetrate. I'm also now going to take my white and draw big swirls in my background. Now, unfortunately, you can't see these epic swirls until later when we paint. Before we paint, we need to address the um, five eggs that I have here. So we are going to first outline the details and then color some of them in. We do not want to color in all of the details on our eggs because we want to paint on them and we want to allow some of the wax resist to um, happen and share its magic as well. So first outline, then color just some details. Last, we're going to paint in um, the eggs, then the background.
before we let dry, we need to paint our background. And I like to paint with Easter colors, which for me are pale yellow. I like pale purple and I like pale blue, but you can do whatever you want because it's your art piece. So the way I get pale colors is I water it down significantly. So uh, for me, because I'm using watercolors, I'm just going to literally add water to my palette, which you can see I'm using a little bit of a dirtier water, probably shouldn't. That's why my yellow's turning like that. But you know, it'll be okay. Next, with my watery color, I'm going to paint my background. So you, you can see it's quite pale because I'm just pulling out that water, not necessarily the paint. And yeah, my eggs will bleed into my background, but that's totally cool with me. I don't mind letting colors blend and bleed, making their own colors because I find for me that it adds to the art piece. So at this time you can paint your background and see what happens. As you can see already, this swirl is slowly starting to appear. And of course, it's now time to let our Easter Bunny dry. We'll check back on this guy after he's dry to see how all of this dries and happens. Now that this art piece is dry, we can see how the effects have really taken place um, and that we can see all the different details in the background with the swirls. Of course, this is going to vary art piece to art piece and the quality of paint to quality of paint, as well as how much paint you really use. So experiment and have some fun for Easter this year. When you're done, you may want to place your artwork under something heavy um, to flatten it back out if it began to curl in the drying process. I would like to know what you draw for Easter. Please leave your comment in the response um, or response in the comment section below the video. Um, and that will also give you the chance to be my comment star in a future video, as well as you can connect with other art teachers there, um, as well as myself. And we can have a great conversation about uh, art projects for Easter. Like this video and click the bell to receive notifications when new episodes arrive. As well, don't forget to uh, subscribe to this Artastic channel. For uh, more art tutorials, head on over to my blog at MsArtastic.com. And for more teacher resources that are printable or that you can use in your classroom, visit me at MsArtastic on TeachersPayTeachers.com. For more behind the scenes footage and for more inspiration and ideas, follow me on Instagram. All these links can be found in my comments and they're all clickable. See you next time.